Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome you to City Hall for another festive event. Uh, I want to, uh, first of all, acknowledge uh, the elected officials that are here today. I want to, first of all, thank uh, City Clerk Tim Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Clerk, for being here. I know State Senator Mike Grady is here. Senator, thank you for being here. I know his aide, Jim, is here as well. Thanks, Jim, for being here. Um, I know State Rep. Michelle Dubois is here. Representative, thank you for being here. I know Councilor at Large Rita Mendez is here. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor at Large David Texera. Councilor, thank you for being here. School Committee Member Tim Sullivan, thank you, Tim, for being here. School Committee Member Cynthia Rivas Mendez, thank you for being here. I know uh, Men Tran is here from DA uh, Tim Cruz. Thank you for being here as well. More importantly, I just want to thank each and every one of you. Um, this is really always a festive time to come together. I want to thank Davis, Davison Perez from my office, uh, who is of Dominican uh, descent. Thank you for being here. After we do the wonderful event today, we have just great, great food. Um, and I want to thank Buena Vista Restaurant. We were able to, uh, to work with them and buy some wonderful food today. Davison promised me that it's keto friendly, so we'll find out about that. The potatoes and cheese, I don't know about that, but um, you know, this is a wonderful day. Again, yesterday was technically the 27th, that was the actual Independence Day, but today being the 28th, we wanted to recognize and applaud the wonderful work of the Dominican population here in the City of Champions. Um, it is a, just a wonderful day, and I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your schedule. A lot of city employees are here, but there's a lot of visitors here as well, and we thank you for that. Again, I'm just excited that we're here to celebrate 178 years of Dominican independence. As some of you may already know, right, give it a clap. That's 178 years. Uh, many of you have visited uh, Dominican Republic. I haven't had the honor and privilege to do that yet. I keep telling my wife and kids it's on the check checklist to do, but it is the second largest island in, in the Caribbean, and it's home to a large population of charismatic, prideful, family-oriented, and vibrant people. And uh, like many immigrants, the Dominicans came to the United States, quite honestly, in search of a better life for themselves and the, and the next generation, their children. In doing so, they brought here to the United States of America, to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and to the City of Champions, cultures, traditions, and the beautiful music we just heard, and of course, the delicious food that we're all gonna be able to experience in just a short while. Um, while a majority of the Dominican immigrants uh, settled in New York City, and New York Upper State, and Lawrence, Massachusetts, we are fortunate to have a sizable amount of prideful, wonderful Dominicans here in the city of Brockton. And, as part of the uh, Brockton Open for Business Initiative, um, this year when we instituted that, Davison and, and myself put on our sneakers and we did a walking tour of a lot of different Latin businesses here. And Inez Figueroa uh, of the Latin Women's Association was a cheerleader walking us around. And so we were able to uh, you know, join them, listen to them, learn from them, enjoy a lot of their wonderful food. Uh, and so again, it is today um, a wonderful day. I want to thank a couple different of the businesses. Buena Vista Restaurant, of course, which we're going to try. Fernandez Liquors, again, uh, Tavares Grocery, and there's just so many, so many others here in the city of Brockton. So I'm asking you, if you haven't visited their establishments, please do so. We're coming out of COVID. It's great to see everybody's faces. Some of you are still wearing masks, and that's okay, but absolutely. <laughs> I want to thank Maria from the DA's office for being here as well. But um, my office here in the city of Brockton is, is the most diverse mayor's office in the history of Brockton. 75% of the uh, staff and team members um, speak so many variety of languages, of course, Spanish and English and Cape Verdean Creole and Haitian Creole. And, um, you know, we need to continue to work together. I keep saying that we're better together. That's not a saying, that's a fact. We are better together. Brockton is a special place because of its diversity. So today we come to honor just one aspect of diversity in Brockton, right? And I keep saying this, Brockton's a quilt and there's so many different pieces of fabric that make up the quilt known as the city of Brockton. So today we honor the Dominican fabric on our quilt and it's a quilt of the people. And I am just so honored to be able to read this proclamation um, and I am gonna present it to my teammate, Davison Perez, on behalf of all the Dominicans here in the city of Brockton. Whereas in 1838, Juan Pablo Durante, an educated nationalist, and Ramon Matias Melia and Francisco de Rosia Sanchez 
uh, founded a resistance movement called the Trinity, La Trinitaria. Did I say that right? Trinitaria. I almost, <laughs> not bad for an Irish guy, I guess. Huh? So named because the original um, nine members organized themselves into a cell of three. And whereas the Trinity, which became known as the Secret Society, was established with the purpose of giving birth to a new republic free from foreign powers. And whereas after the Dominican War for Independence in 1844, Dominican sovereignty was successful and proudly established. And whereas the growth and prosperity of Brockton, Massachusetts, known as the City of Champions, is due in part to our rich diversity, which truly includes residents and business owners of Dominican descent. Whereas Brockton has been greatly enriched by the introduction of vibrant customs, food, and culture brought to the city by the Dominican hardworking immigrant and their families. Whereas our vibrant Dominican American community has made tremendous contributions to our city, our commonwealth, and our nation. Therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim again yesterday, the 27th of February, 2022, in the city of Brockton, which you are proudly recognizing today, the 28th day of February, 2022, Dominican Independence Day. And I urge all residents of our fine city to join me in observing in this day. And I want to give this to Davis and Perez. <laughs> I, I, I thought that my days in front of the camera were over. Uh, as many of you know, uh, I was once a sports reporter, but uh, I'm just thankful. Thankful to you, Mayor, for, for allowing me to uh, bring this back, uh, Dominican Independence Day, a Dominican flag raising here to uh, the City of Champions, a, a, a town that, a city that has uh, adopted me as a son uh, through my wonderful mother-in-law that's right there. And, uh, <laughs> My, uh, my loving wife, um, and, and the mayor strives to make this place a very welcoming and inclusive place, and I genuinely have felt that since day one. So um, thank you again for allowing us to be here today. I'm very proud to be Dominican, um, and uh, yeah, I just, um, I'm thankful. Thank you. So I was always brought up with the mantra, happy wife, happy life, right? So I have to say Mary Waldron and Casey Waldron Perez. Just for the record, we have to say the names, right? But listen, I'm going to invite everybody to please come, everybody to come please, and we're going to proudly hoist this uh, flag jointly and honor the Dominicans here in the city of Brockton and in the Commonwealth. Davidson, why don't you lead us? All right. Let's play the uh, national anthem. Sure. Oh, by all means. I do want to uh, thank uh, Brian Matta and the custodians here at City Hall for always accommodating us. Um, you know, we, we needed to do a lot of these inside recently because of the weather. Um, we will be outside in the near future. Again, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. I see Councilor Shirley Azak for being here. Thank you, Councilor. I see Council President Jack Lally. Thank you, Councilor, for being here. 
And again, I, I, uh, I want everybody to please feel free to enjoy the food that the city of Brockton purchased. And uh, God bless the Dominican population. God bless each and every one of you. And God bless our city of champions. Thank you, everybody.